gorgeous Pisces. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid April 2024. Pisces, wow. I got a lot of information coming through for you guys. First of all, I saw someone tidying up a room. They were pushing furniture back, they were binning a load of things, they had a couple of boxes spare, they were culling their environment. I then saw somebody manically looking at their watch. Okay, uh, I really want to do this, but uh, I, know, I know it's not right time. So I've just got to chill, just got to breathe, just got to relax. But, uh, oh, you know, I, I hope it's it's going to be okay. I hope that it's all going to happen. I, I hope I'm not going to be too late. Is it too early to do this? Yeah, it's too early. It's too early to do this now. Panicking. Panicking. Michael then showed me somebody writing down bullet points on a piece of paper. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Uh, okay. What if that doesn't work out? All right. If it doesn't work out, then what else can I do? What are my options? So Pisces, you may be in preparation mode for something. What I want to say, Pisces, is enjoy the journey. And for some of you, you're out there thinking, well, that's all very well, Des, but I'm stressed about this and I'm stressed about that. And what if it doesn't happen? And who, you know, just breathe, Pisces, breathe. Remember, everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by chance. Breathe. Are you ready? Are you breathing? <laughs> Are you breathing? Breathe. Okay. Some of you, yeah, I mean, you may be getting ready to give birth. For others of you, you are about to jump into something major. It could be moving to a new country. It could be moving into a new job. You could be starting a new business. It's huge. And it's almost as if you want to get going now because you just want to relieve the sort of fear factor. But Pisces, it's too early. It's too early. Just enjoy where you are now. Try not to think six months ahead or five years ahead. Enjoy the journey now because the journey is actually what really matters. All right. So guys, the deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams. Um, if you'd like a private reading, I'm still taking 30% off the 30 Minute Love Readings. Spring promo. If you want to join the channel, the link is there too. Arnold's with me with Margaret. They're sitting together on the sofa. Hmm. Margaret's reading a book. It's funny, there are blank pages. She's smiling at me. She's saying she's making up her own story as she goes along. Arnold's reading the paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's, there might be something here, Pisces, about a blank canvas. Are you writing your own story? I feel as if for some of you, this heralds a brand new life. Whatever this is for you, it's going to shift you in a new direction. It is nerve wracking. There is fear. But I feel the divine is trying to say to you, please enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Okay. The magician. Because, Pisces, whatever this is, you've manifested it. You've manifested it. Maybe subconsciously. But this is all down to you. And I'm hearing your own soul mission. Queen of Coins. So Pisces, this is you in a very stable position. You may have been building up a lump sum of money for something. I'm hearing someone say it wasn't possible a few months ago. I thought that was it. But I'm OK now. I'm feeling more optimistic now. It's going to be OK. I can do this. Whereas it might have been a bit touch and go a few months ago. Hmm. 
Yes, six of wands. I feel, Pisces, your determination to succeed and to think positively has actually shifted the energy around you and the divine is now opening this door. Maybe in the past, Pisces, you were sat in too much fear, maybe a tinge of lack mentality. It's never going to happen for me. I'm never going to achieve this. But you forced yourself up out of that stressed energy. And I think this is you realising now that this is actually achievable. In the past eight of coins you were really really hard long nights weekends you could have overtime in in the office because this was super important to you so whatever this is you started planning for this quite a while ago determined to make it happen ace of wands Fired up and excited. This is you inspired. Pisces, I've got to admit, I don't get a sense that this is anything to do with love. I don't. I think this is you going for a particular goal that you may have had in the back of your mind for a very long time. It's as if you know the go time is coming up. You can't jump into this yet. It might be you've got to work a little bit harder on your money. It may well be that this is time sensitive for some reason. But you're beginning to feel that intensity, that pressure build. Oh my goodness, it's coming up, you know. Am I going to be okay? Is it going to work out? What you're thinking about, Pisces, is the faith card. I think this is you hoping and praying that this is going to happen for you and that you're not going to have to sort of accept defeat. For some of you, you may have Taurus in your chart in particular. We've also got Leo energy there, Scorpio, Gemini. In the immediate future, Pisces, Page of Swords. I feel as if you're gathering together information. It's almost as if, Pisces, you want to get yourself to a place where... There's going to be no nasty shocks, nothing that comes out of the woodwork, no major obstacles, because you want this to go smoothly. So this is you looking at the potential issues, the potential problems, and creating a safety net for yourself or understanding what the pitfalls may be so you are fully aware. This is you very savvy, Pisces. I want to know what the worst case scenario is so I can prepare in advance. Again, Pisces, you're not thinking negatively, but you are being very realistic, which I have to say, my beautiful Pisces, um, is sometimes very difficult for us. I'm Pisces too. We tend to live in our heads. We tend to live in a little bit of fantasy land. But Pisces, you have taken the rose tinted glasses off. I'm hearing quite a while ago. You know your situation. You're no longer sitting feeling it's never going to happen. You are determined to make this happen. And I feel because of that, the energy around you has changed and the divine is going to open that door. But you just want to make sure that you haven't missed anything. In your fears fearing that it's not going to happen and you're going to have to spend some time thinking about what you're going to do next. For some of you Pisces, you may be fearing you're not going to have the energy to do this. It may be something that will take a lot out of you. You may be fearing that when it comes to it, when you're about to jump into this, it's going to be too daunting. It's going to be a bit overwhelming and you're going to back off. I don't think so, Pisces, because again, this is something that you've had in the back of your mind for the longest time. This is something you really, really want. So I think, Pisces, it would take a lot, a lot for you to say, all right, I don't think I should do this. 
In the environment, Pisces, three of coins. Someone here is going to be standing by your side when you do this. Somebody here is going to give you the support that you need. It could be emotional. It could be physical support. It could even be financial support. It's almost as if what they're saying to you is, Pisces, don't worry. We're sort of on standby. You're not alone in this. It's going to be fine. In your hopes, page of coins. Now, Pisces, that can relate to a contract. It can be a document. It could be you shifting into a new cycle where you might have to sign documents. It could be anything, Pisces. It could be immigration papers. It could be a work permit. It could be you have to sign some kind of certificate. Documentation is involved and you're really hoping this is going to go through. The outcome. Yeah. Pisces, you're going to achieve this. That's you sat in the Nine of Pentacles. I feel, Pisces, that's the time when you realise this is really going to happen. This is you as organised and as stable as you can possibly be. And everyone's situation is different. You know that you put in the work. You know that you're inspired to do this. You know that you have a strong faith in yourself and in the divine. And this is you determined to succeed. All of those energies put together, Pisces, has enabled the universe to open this door for you. And this is you super excited. Clarification for you, Ace of Cups. Whatever this is, is going to fulfil you. You're also sitting, Pisces, very importantly, in a place of self-love. And love of your life. This is you sitting in gratitude, appreciation and a very strong sense of manifestation. King of Swords. I feel, Pisces, you at this point and this energy comes through at the end of your reading. This is you knowing you've got all the information you need. You have the details laid out in front of you, whether it's physically or in your head. You may have some kind of checklist. You may have locked in a certain amount of money in order for you to achieve this. You may have looked at the pitfalls. You may have thought, OK, if that doesn't happen that way, is there another way around it? At this point, Pisces, when you're sitting in the Nine of Pentacles, you've done everything you possibly can to achieve this. And I think that's important for you because you would not want to be in a situation where you look back and thought, oh, maybe if I'd done this, maybe if I'd done that, maybe if I thought about that option, I wouldn't have failed. No, Pisces. Failure for you is absolutely not an option, which is why you're doing the groundwork now and making sure you've dotted the I's and crossed the T's. So this is going to be successful. Because for some of you, you couldn't bear it if it wasn't successful. It's as if it's not even an option. I'm not even thinking about that. No, 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 no. It is going to happen. Whoever is sat in the Three of Coins, Pisces, Ace of Coins. Now, this is someone who is on hand. This could be somebody literally wanting to help you physically. <laughs> I'm seeing... Two burly guys here, right? They look pretty fit. <laughs> um, this could be somebody willing to physically help you with something. It could be very important. This could be somebody who is on hand to help you financially if you get to the point where you need a little bit more help, is what I want to say. Their energy, Palace of Coins. This is someone, Pisces, who knows how to build... This is someone who is all about their security. This could be a family member or this could be a very close friend of yours who has the finances and the strength to help you if you just need. I keep hearing a little bit more, just a little bit more. They're on hand. 
So Pisces, underneath the deck, we have the Hermit. I think this is you doing a lot of thinking, evaluating. Again, you're in quiet contemplation before the action starts, is, is what I want to say. You've created some kind of plan for yourself. I'm really hoping this plan is going to be successful, but if I need to take a few shortcuts or if I need to go around the houses a little bit, I can do that too. So this is a lot of planning, Pisces. The next card, Pisces, is temperance. Yes, the angels are with you. What they're saying is, relax, Pisces. We've got this in hand for you. This is going to work out. Don't worry. Don't panic. We know how much you've wanted this. We know that you have tirelessly worked to make this happen. You haven't slacked off. You haven't sat there expecting somebody else to do the work. You have put in everything you need that you could possibly put into this. Hope, dreams, finances, planning for this to be achievable. And so they're opening the door because they simply feel you deserve this. So my beautiful Pisces, let's get into this and see what else comes through. So my lovely Pisces, now I could be connecting with a feminine, but if you're a masculine, you're definitely sitting in your feminine energy. You're emotionally connected to whatever this is. You've been dreaming of this. Archangel Michael, what energy is Pisces sitting in, please, at this point of time? Yes, the hangman. Wow. Pisces, for some of you, you know you've self-sacrificed in order to achieve this. You know it. So for most of you, you do feel you deserve this because of the hard work, the effort, the time, the research that you put into this. Yes, plus a heck of a lot of courage. You may have held back Pisces from overindulgence. You knew Pisces that to have a shot at this, you needed to stay really focused, really focused. And I think you have. Six of coins. I think you've held back Pisces from spending money frivolously on things you don't need because this has taken finances. Yeah. You've been very careful, Pisces, particularly recently. Mm. You may have been juggling money. You may have been, again, very busy because you have been preparing to march forward into your dream. This is sort of the golden city for you, symbolically. Again, preparation. Preparation, Pisces. Yes, wow, High Priestess. You may not have told many people about this. You may have kept it to yourself. But you've used your intuition, Pisces, to understand that this is possible when you may not have felt it was possible before. So in the past, Pisces, Eight of Pentacles, you put a lot of time, energy, work and effort into this. Again, this is you laying some kind of foundation, is what I'm getting. Hmm. You were unclear in the past whether or not you could really achieve this. This is a little bit of fear creeping in. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can actually do this. But you kept working towards it. It's as if what you were thinking was, I just don't know whether or not I'm even going to come close to being able to do have this. But I'm really going to work hard to try. And I think Pisces, the universe heard you. 
Seven of Wands. You may have subconsciously sat in a slightly defensive energy. This is almost the equivalent of, you know, a mother hen protecting an egg. I don't want anyone near this. I'm going to protect this with my life. This was incredibly important for you. So anyone that came at you to either try and bring you down or to tell you you couldn't do this. Pisces, don't be ridiculous. We don't think this is achievable. You push them away and you protected in your mind this dream, this goal. I don't care what anyone else says. I'm going to have this, right? Hmm. A lot of determination, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Even though you were in your head as to whether or not you could actually achieve this. The Palace of Cups is ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfilment. This is something that you've had in the back of your mind that you've been dreaming about Pisces for a long time. So in the past, Pi so in the past Pisces, you were protecting this. I'm not going to let anyone steer me off path. No one. After that time, Pisces, this dream, this little seed of excitement, you nurtured. And that gave you the energy, the enthusiasm to put more work and effort into this. This is true manifestation. Even though you were tired, even though you didn't know if this was achievable, you did not want to let this go. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of Wands. Oh, my goodness. I'm so inspired. I'm keeping going. But you know what? I'm exhausted. Eight of Pentacles, I'm working my butt off here. Ten of Wands, oh, this feels really, really heavy, the situation I'm in right now, because I don't know if I can do this, but you were determined to push on. Absolutely determined. Wow. Yeah. Because you knew that if you kept going, you were going to be achieving this dream. This is your ship coming in. And even thinking about that gave you the impetus to keep going. It gave you the energy. It's as if this dream became a physical thing, which you sort of fed intravenously into your veins to sort of keep you going, right? This is pure inspiration. This fueled you, Pisces, into keeping going. It was a fuel this inspiration. So what you're thinking about now, Pisces, is that you just have to take a step back, breathe, enjoy the journey, don't sit feeling stressed, and leave the rest in the hands of the divine, the faith card. Keeping the faith that you've done enough in order for the universe to grant you this. The death card. This is you knowing that this is going to shift your life in a new direction. It's going to bring about much needed change. You may even feel Pisces that you change within yourself once this has happened. Again, Pisces, a little bit of touch and go. You're sitting in a very positive energy. You've done everything you need to do to achieve this, but you're a little bit nervous that right at the last minute, something's going to happen, which is going to cause you to have to walk away from this. I don't think it is. Again, that's just fear. Queen of Swords. Pisces, you're talking to a specific person about your plans. I don't think this is you talking to a massive group of people. I think this is you 
choosing who to speak to very carefully. You may be wanting to ask this person whether or not you've forgotten anything. Is there anything else I can do to help me achieve this? Or do you feel that I'm pretty organised? What do you think? So Pisces, you may be approaching someone who's already done this, been through this, achieved this, because you want a little bit of insight as to whether or not there's anything you can do, anything you can tweak, anything you can learn about, which you feel Pisces may guarantee that this is going to happen for you. Again, you're making sure that there are no nasty surprises. So when it comes to this, you are fully informed. You know exactly what you're doing. You have your plan laid out and you've also been honest with yourself about any risks involved. What else are you thinking about, my beautiful Pisces? Yeah. This is you standing at crossroads. It's as if you're sitting in the middle of a bridge. I've already emotionally detached from one situation, emotionally, even though physically you may still be there. And I'm dreaming of my future. I'm dreaming of my next destination. All you can do at this point of time, Pisces, is keep manifesting, keep working, You've emotionally detached from one environment already, one situation, and you are dreaming of the next, but you're not there yet. You're in the middle, which makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable because you may feel a little bit lost, a little bit up in the air. Well, my life as I knew it was over there. Um, I'm trying to get to here. Whew. Um, I don't like the fact that I don't feel my feet are on the ground. Yes, your feet are firmly on the ground, Pisces, but you are sitting in a little bit of nervous energy because this is a life change for you. Whatever that is, it's massive. You may know that you're never going to do this again. Whatever this is for you, you make one jump. And once you've achieved that, I don't think you'll be doing this a second time because it's going to take a lot out of you and it's possibly going to be quite expensive. And I know, guys, I'm talking cryptically, but this could be an array of different things. For instance, it could be starting a new family, preparing for a birth. It could be you migrating to a new country. It could be you ending a career and shifting into becoming an entrepreneur and you're never going to look back. For others of you, it may be a very, very big purchase. Once you've purchased this, you're not going to purchase another one. That's it. So we could be looking at life savings here. You are sitting in the middle of that bridge, waiting for go time. So in the immediate future, guys, you're sat in the Page of Swords. It's almost as if you're saying to whoever this is, is there anything else I need to know? Is there anything else I can do? This is you brainstorming. What do you think? What do you think? Is this going to be okay? Do I know everything I need to know? What are the pitfalls? What are the obstacles? You're fine-tuning this dream. This is you symbolically proofreading a very important contract. You're proofreading symbolically. Whoever is sat in the environment is saying to you, I am with you or we are with you 110%. This is someone strong, reliable. This is someone financially stable. They're sort of on hand. They may have some creative ideas for you. This is someone who wants you to achieve this. Someone very supportive. And this is someone, Pisces, who's going to be standing by your side when you start this. When you press go, when the wheel starts moving forward, they're going to be right there. 
Whether or not they're there physically, whether or not they're there on the other end of a phone, they're going to be there. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing please for my lovely Pisces? When do we have the Page of Swords and the Three of Coins in the future? Thank you, Michael. Okay, Pisces, the beginning of May. So we're talking about two to three weeks. You're going to start the ball rolling. It's going to be slow going at first. You may feel it's a bit heavy going. It's a little bit, it's a little bit taxing, but you're going to get into, I'm hearing the rhythm of this. You're going to get into the rhythm of this. And once that wheel starts moving, you're going to be going with it. You're going to be allowing this wheel to carry you forward. How are you feeling, Pisces, with a page of swords? How are you feeling? <laughs> yeah. Pisces, at this point of time, there is going to be a sense of excitement building, but you are sitting feeling a little bit worried because you're looking back at all the time, energy, effort, work you have put into this to try and achieve this. And this is you sort of sitting there keeping your fingers crossed. <laughs> My Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because this is when it actually starts. This is you sitting there feeling a bit jittery. Oh my goodness. When I started thinking about this, working on this, planning this six months ago, whoo, now it's actually happening. You may be getting these crazy thoughts of backing out. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't do this. Oh no, maybe this isn't for me. But Pisces, I feel that this wheel is going to just keep moving you forward. It's as if now the universe have taken hold of this and whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So the universe is giving you the courage, the energy and the drive to just go with this. Don't worry, you're going to be fine. I feel Pisces, you're almost going to be giving yourself a talking to. <laughs> you know? Telling yourself off for worrying when you know that you've done everything you possibly can to prepare for this. Yeah. And, ultimate, and ultimately, Pisces, with the Seven of Cups, what you're going to be telling yourself, and possibly more than once, is if anything goes remotely wrong, something that I could not foresee, something I couldn't plan for, then there are other options. That's what you're telling yourself. You're calming yourself down because at this point, there may be a little bit of rising panic. Ooh, can I do this? Can I do this? And you're just going to stamp down on that and say to yourself, what is the worst that could possibly happen? You have contingency plans, Pisces. You do. But I think you're worrying unnecessarily. You're relaying all this to this person who I feel is saying to you, we've got your back, Pisces. Yes, what you're saying to this person is, well, I'm going for this. This is what I want up here, right? But if it doesn't work out... There are potentially three other options, at least, that are viable. For some of you, you may feel as if you've got seven options, but maybe you haven't checked those options out. Maybe you haven't really looked into whether or not those options would truly work. But you know that these three options definitely would if you can't get the one thing that you really want. But I think again, Pisces, this person is saying, why are you even looking at plan B when you know the plan A is definitely going to work? Because we're going to make sure it does work for you because we want this for you. What is this person saying sat in the three of coins? The king of cups. Pisces, we love you. Pisces, we know how important this is for you. And we're behind... 
and we're going to support you throughout this process. Yeah, page of wands. Pisces, they're going to lift you up out of this fear-based mentality and basically say to you, there's no reason why this shouldn't work out. You have done everything you possibly can to make it work. Why are you even considering other options? No, go for this. This is someone who is, again, inspiring you. Filling you with the enthusiasm that you need to keep going. What else are they saying? What else are they saying? I'm hearing the words, we don't wish to interfere. Interesting. This is someone who is standing on the periphery of your life, saying to you, we're here if you need us, or I'm here if you need me. Four of coins. We've got a little bit of money if it's going to help you. We're not going to give it to you yet because we know that you want to do this on your own. We don't want to interfere, but we're here to support you. Beautiful. It's as if they know, Pisces, it's very important that you feel as if you've done this yourself. It could be a deep-seated sense of pride. It could be that you want to sit in your dream in the future knowing it was all down to you and no one else. You want to feel that 100% achievement within yourself. I did this. I did all of this, right? Yeah, they know that. They're very savvy. And I feel this is someone who understands your mindset. What else is this person relaying to my lovely Pisces? Justice. <laughs> what they're saying to you, Pisces, is once you've achieved this, you will feel a sense of balance in your life. It may be for some of you, this is somebody saying to you, this is justice for you, Pisces, for all your hard work, for the planning, the preparation. This is justice. You deserve this. They don't want you to forget that. They may be saying to you, Pisces, have you definitely read through all the paperwork? For some of you, this is someone who is wanting to make sure that you haven't missed anything. This could be you signing some kind of legal contract. Again, they're feeding ideas to you, but they're standing back. So guys, let's have a look at the energy between the two of you. This is when the wheel starts gently moving you forward, okay, and you're feeling that uprush of, oh my goodness, it's really happening. All sorts of emotions are going to be going through your mind, but you have someone here who is right beside you. They're totally with you on this, and they feel you can do this no problem. No problem. Yeah, look at that. And this is the wheel moving you forward. This is a brand new cycle you're moving into, Pisces. This is incredibly exciting for you. Yes, a bit nerve wracking. You may feel as if you're sort of treading water. You don't like the fact that you're still kind of sitting in the middle of a bridge, right? Between A and B. But you're just about to change gear, is what I'm getting. You're just about to change gear. This is that wheel moving a little bit faster and a little bit faster. And you're just going to have to go with it. <laughs> you're just going to have to go with it. So beautiful Pisces, the nine of pentacles. This is you being as ready as you can possibly be to do this. This is when this is when things speed up to the point where you're just about to head swiftly towards your destination. OK, this is go time, Pisces. Go time. Yes, go time. The angels are with you. Whoever this is, is standing by your side. You've done your homework. You've done the prep. You've got your plan organized. And this is you about to press the green button, right? Pisces. The Fool. 
this is you jumping into this. But you're not being impulsive, Pisces, because this is something you planned for for a long time. But this is you actually going from A to B somehow. This is you jumping straight into achieving this. This is you taking a trip. This is you signing that all important document. I'm hearing the word final. You may have to make some kind of down payment. Or this is you feeling, Pisces, that the wheel is moving now at such a speed that you don't need to push it anymore. It, it's going to happen on its own. <laughs> OK, this is fast movement forward. It's all going to happen quite quickly from this point onwards. Chariot. Yes. Wow, Pisces. Super exciting. Wow, guys. Very exciting, Pisces. Judgment. This is a massive change, a life change. From this point onwards, Pisces, your life will never be the same again. This is you having just reached that destination. <laughs> yes, having turned your back on where you've been, turning your back on the past and jumping into your new future. This is going to be pretty emotional for you, I feel. Yeah, pretty emotional. There could be tears, there could be laughter, there could be clinking of glasses and celebration. Whoever has been standing by your side is sort of going to symbolically clap you on the back. Well done. You've achieved this. We're very proud of you. Fantastic. And Pisces, this is you celebrating, celebrating what you've achieved. Three of Cups. Three of Cups. This is you allowing yourself to sit in this bubble of extreme happiness and just revel in it. Whether or not you can just sit there for five minutes or whether or not you can sit there for the next few months. You're going to appreciate this. You're going to revel in it. You're going to remember the hard work. And you will know, Pisces, that you put everything you had into making this happen. Congratulations, Pisces. You deserve this. You deserve this. This is you closing out a chapter, Pisces, that may have been challenging for you, stressful for you, worrying for you. It's done. Yeah, you've closed out that chapter. And you're on a brand new journey. And for some of you, this is a brand new life and you're never going to look back. Never. Pisces, I'm being guided to the Sacred Soul Portals deck. Archangel Michael just wants me to pull two or three cards to close out this reading. So what have we got to close this reading for Pisces, Michael? Thank you. <laughs> OK, Pisces, holding space. Make room for the magic to happen by clearing out any doubts from your mind. You will achieve this. The universe has your back. Enchanted. Your path has led you to a defining moment that will change your destiny. Yes, this is life changing, Pisces. Life changing. Passage. I'm hearing again enjoy the journey. In the moments between going from one place to another, you taste the sweetness of life. Enjoy the journey, Pisces. So, guys, a beautiful reading. Pretty intense, wonderful, emotional, exciting. Whatever this is for you, enjoy the process. Don't give up. Keep forging forward and you will achieve this. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. 
sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Pisces.